Hey guys, Jack here. Today I'm going to be giving you a short introduction to Tor and PGP encryptors. Now Tor is a weak VPN and also a web browser which allows you to access .onion links. The deep web is comprised almost entirely of .onion links and can't be reached without a Tor browser. The VPN portion of the browser makes for good and safe web browsing, though if you wanted to take this more seriously, I highly suggest you invest in a paid VPN service such as NordVPN, Private Internet Access, or etc. Now PGP stands for Pretty Good Privacy, and it's good for sending encrypted messages across the internet that you want to keep safe and secure from any prying eyes. Now to start things off, the first thing you're going to need to do is download Tor and GPG for Win, the links of which I'll leave in the description. Now it's going to ask you to donate, though you don't have to. I highly suggest if you do have money to spend though, you do, as we all benefit from the service, and it's nice to give back when you can. This is the Tor browser. Basically, it's a reskinned version of Firefox that's able to access .onion links. Now, if you want to go browsing the deep web, you're going to need .onion links, and for that, you'll have to find them on your own. Unfortunately, I do not have any to give. PGP, unfortunately, is a little more difficult to use. To get started, you're going to want to go to File, and then New Key Pair. Then, create a personal OpenPGP key pair. Now it's going to ask you for a name and an email. What you put here doesn't matter, so I'm going to put something random. Then, you're going to want to go to Advanced Settings, and make sure RSA and plus RSA are checked. Then change your bits to 4096. Click OK and then Next. You can look at all the details or you don't. It doesn't really matter. Create your PGP and then create a passphrase. Click OK and it will start creating your PGP. This may take a while. Now that you have your own PGP key, you're ready to start messaging. In order to do so, you'll need to find someone else's public PGP key and save it to your clipboard. Once you've done that, go to your clipboard and click Certificate Import. What this will do is add their certificate to your Cleopatra client. Now you can type your message. This, by the way, is what the PGP should look like. Now, for my message, I'm just going to keep it simple. Copy your message and return to the Cleopatra client, this time hitting encrypt. Add whichever recipient you want to receive the message and click next. This will say that your encryption has succeeded and now you'll notice that in your clipboard is the encrypted message. Now you send this to the recipient and they use your public PGP key to decrypt the message. I hope you guys found this useful and it helps you browse the web more safely. Thank you for watching, and please remember to leave some constructive criticism if you haven't.